brakes on, getting some heart in the toss here because we're getting a bit tight. And um, when the toss goes too low, it becomes a bit uh, uh, tight in the serve. And basically what happens is the, the rhythm gets thrown off because the, because the body is um, trying to get up to the ball, but it just doesn't have any space to swing. So when we extend the toss a little bit, especially for a higher person, a taller person, we've got some space to really get the throwing action on the ball. Yep, so let's get in that position. Start again, get the rhythm. Left arm is straight and we just let the toss flow. Not bad. And we even get a bit more height to experiment. Shot. That's better. And then from there, you're actually at a position where you can crunch down the ball as a, as a tool server. This is an action you want to try and get at. All the really tall servers on the tour have a real uh, bite in the court. We've set the cones actually shorter here to see if we can replicate a high toss. Uh, it should actually come shorter into the court and bounce upwards rather than through on a shorter to on a lower toss. So the lower toss starts to go deep. We want to get that was a lower toss. So we want that toss to go up high. Good. So the ones up there start to drop short. And then we can start getting some power from that. You can always go deep again, but if you can consistently get them um, sort of within that, with that within that area there between the cone and the line, then you've got a good serve and a nice height on the bounce. Depends on the type of serve you're trying to do. If you're trying to do a, a high bouncing serve up there past their chest, or if you're trying to really go through the court. But the purpose of this, we're trying to experiment. Yep, so let the toss go. Left arm flows. Much, it's better though when it's flowing. It looks more fluid. Yeah, good toss. Oh, you'll be able to see those ones on the camera, those low ones. You'll see the difference. Yeah, those ones look better. 